And welcome to yet another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer myself. I'm Jesse, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer I've never had before. This is one from Dogfish Head. It's called Festina Peche, I believe it's pronounced. I'm not really sure. I picked it up because of the super cool label. Um, looks kind of evil, and it's a little indicative of fall um, since we just got into it, and all the Halloween beers are coming out right now. Anyway, um, let's get into the numbers on this beer. Um... Dogfish Head Festina Peche, 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 however you say it, from Beer Advocate gets an 83, which is good, and that's with 3,587 ratings. The bros give it a 93, which is outstanding, and Rate Beer gives it a 65 overall with a 37 for the style. It has an ABV of 4.5%. The style is a Berliner Weiss beer. Um, the availability is summer. Um, and uh, according to Beer Advocate, it has eight IBUs, which is probably the lowest measurement of IBUs I've ever seen, but I still thought it was interesting. Anyway, um, here's a quick script from Beer Advocate. It says, In Festina Peche, since the natural peach sugars are eaten by the yeast, the fruit complexity is woven into both the aroma and the taste of the beer, so there is no need to doctor it with woodruff or raspberry syrup, but just open and enjoy. The food pairing is grilled chicken, fish, or salad. Um, the glassware is a pint, which I'm going to use pint glass, and it says a comparable wine is Pinot Grigio. So, um, I take it the beer, like that wine, would be you know light, fruity, uh, kind of robust. So, get it cracked open here, and get it poured. Now, I don't like fruit beers. I've mentioned it in my past reviews, but again, I picked this up because I really do like the label. That is looking nice. It has been, it's been a while since I've done a review. It's been, got a couple months. I just uploaded two videos, but it's been like two, three months since I even did them, and they've just been sitting on my phone. I haven't done anything with them. So, again, I picked this up, though, because I liked the, uh, the artwork. It's pretty sweet. So, let's get into the appearance. Let's get into the appearance on this beer. It is a nice, pale straw color. It is, um, looks like it's not filtered very well. It's kind of opaque. Um, I can see my hand through it, but no definite shapes. Um, nice cloudiness to it. A lot of carbonation, tiny bubbles streaming up. Um, almost no head, just kind of a frothy um, ring around it now, but it has a nice appearance. Let's go ahead and get into the smell on this. It just smells like a light beer. I'm picking up a little bit of fruitiness. I might contribute to peaches. Um, very malty, sweet, bready, slightly yeasty, almost biscuity. Very, very malty beer, um, but there is definitely that uh, sweetness from uh, again peaches, apricots, almost some smells like maybe some honey or something. Sweet, light, refreshing. I'm smelling slight spice notes like ginger. A little bit of a spicy pepperiness in the um, in the odor. But um, let's uh, let's go on ahead and jump into this. See how it is. It is a Berliner Weiss beer. Um, so that's, you know, it's a, like a, a wheat beer, white beer. I know Weiss beer is white beer in German, Berliner Weiss beer. I don't believe I've ever had this exact style, so I'm not exactly sure if it's traditionally brewed with fruit and maybe it's, or, or it's, I'm not sure if it's traditionally brewed with fruit or if it's more like a wheat beer. I'm not sure, but anyway, let's um, go on ahead and jump into this. Mm. Mm. That kind of reminds me of, um, it was over a year ago, I believe now, but, or, actually, not quite a year ago. I believe it was last winter, so almost a year, but, um, Shiner did a beer called Cheer, um, and I remember comparing Cheer to, Cheer, I believe, is brewed with peaches, and um, also, um, I remember comparing that to Magic Cat's number nine, which is brewed with apricots. I could compare this to both of those, but this tastes more like cheer. Um, but a little different, too. It's not quite as hearty as that beer. This is very light. It's very refreshing. 
Um, I wouldn't really say it's watery, but it has a very thin, light mouthfeel. It's very carbonated, almost like a soda or something. Um, I'm getting the nice, sweet maltiness. It's very malty. It's bready, but at the same time, there is a complexity of the fruit in there. It's definitely more fruity on the flavor than it is on the nose. Sweet, subtle, kind of... Um, light hints of like a, a caramel or a toffee as far as the malt goes but mostly mostly bready mostly yeasty the fruits definitely there it's very nice um very very peachy um kind of almost not on the mouthfeel but on the flavor kind of syrupy like when you eat canned peaches the way that the syrup because it's just extra sugar the way it is it's like that it's not quite as sweet as that it's hard to describe but you'd have to try for yourself but this is a very good beer. It's very indicative of summer. It's very light. It's refreshing. Um, a lot of people would call this a lawnmower beer. I'd say it's a little better than that, but it's certainly not my favorite style, but it's definitely refreshing. Mm, mm. I'd call this, uh, I'd definitely say it's a chick beer. The fruitiness isn't like overbearable like I don't like fruit beers it's not overbearable on the flavor but it's a little more fruitiness than um, than uh, I normally like but again it's not overbearable I mean it's certainly drinkable I could put away quite a few of these um, I don't know if I'd buy it again but I mean it's definitely like if this was offered to me you know burning sun coming down really hot outside working or something and this was offered to me I'd take it in a second this is so refreshing extremely carbonated though, a little overly carbonated but I think uh, given for the style of beer and that it's a um, summer beer you know it's released during the summer um, the carbonation really just kind of adds to that again like soda you know you, it's hot outside you grab a coke or something nothing better than that just ice cold you can't take more than a sip or two it's burning your throat because the carbonation but there's something so desirable about that this beer captures that so well um, I think this is a really, really good beer. Almost, um, let me. Yeah, I would say, like, no hop presence whatsoever. I'm not picking up any hops. There's, there's kind of a floral note to it, but I wouldn't, I, that's the fruit. That's the fruit. That's not, I wouldn't say that was hops at all. Um, I'm not sure what kind of hops they use in this, but, you know, it tastes more like, um, um, you know, kind of more floral East Coast hop, if anything, because I can't pick it up at all. So, um, it's very, very light on the hops. Not sure what they use. Didn't see it in the description, but actually, it does say on the bottle here, it says, oh, not about the hops, but it says something here. It says, uh, Festina Peche is a neo berliner style Weisse, unique, tart, and refreshing. This brew is... So down with the dog days of summer, but mm, no, it does not mention any hops or anything like that. But still, really good beer, very enjoyable. I'd say pick it up, especially during the summer. It's hot outside. You want something refreshing. If you like fruit beers, pick it up because I mean it's it's a pretty good fruit beer, I guess. I don't like fruit beers, but I still actually do like this beer. Again, I'm not going to seek it out, but for what it is, it's very very enjoyable. I'm going to go on ahead and give Festina. Peche, a, uh, a, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. That's average. That's a C from me. Um, it's a pretty good beer. So if you see it, pick it up. Dogfish Head always delivers in this, even though it was a beer I don't like, um, or, or uh, the style I don't like, they were able to produce it in a way that it's, it's not that bad. And, you know, I'm still going to give it a C. So 7 out of 10, again, for Festina Peche. Peche, Peche, however the hell you say it. Pick it up if you see it. It's not that bad of a beer. It's pretty good. So and if you like fruit beers, I think you're going to love it. So thank you for watching and keep watching again in the future for more reviews. Post.